In this lecture, let's learn how to use Bootstrap in the Angular project. Bootstrap is a responsive mobile for CSS framework for building web applications. And it is open source and has all the features like SAS variables, mixins, responsive grid system, pre-built components, and powerful JavaScript plugin. Bootstrap, it consists of few CSS files and also JS files. The CSS file of Bootstrap contains all the styles definition, and many of the bootstrap components, they require the use of JavaScript to function. For example, cross-sells, drop-down menus, auto-suggests, etc. required bootstrap.js file. It also has dependency on jQuery and proper JS. So let's see how we can use bootstrap in our Angular project. Now, there are several ways in which we can use bootstrap in our application. One of the ways is by using the CDN link of bootstrap and include it in the index.html file. But instead of doing it like this, what we are going to do is, we are going to install Bootstrap for our Angular project, and then we are going to use it. So in order to install Bootstrap for our Angular project, let's go to terminal. Let's open a terminal here. And currently I am in my project directory, as you can see. You can also use command prompt for this, but since VS Code already provides a built-in terminal, I'm going to use that built-in terminal. Let me go ahead and let me clear this terminal by typing this CLS command. And we want to install Bootstrap package and we want to save it. So if you remember, for installing a package from npm, we use npm install command. In short, you can also write it as npm i. And then we want to install Bootstrap package and we also want to save it. So before the package name, we can say hyphen hyphen save and then the name of the package, which is Bootstrap. Now, if you want a specific version of Bootstrap, you can say at and then you can specify the version, for example, 3. But here, I want to install the latest version of Bootstrap, so I will not specify any version. And if I press Enter, it should install Bootstrap for this Angular project. So Bootstrap is installing. Okay, Bootstrap has been installed. And just to check if it has been installed or not, you can go to this node modules folder because we have learned that whatever package we install from npm that gets stored inside this node modules folder so let's expand this node modules folder and here we should have bootstrap folder so if i scroll down you can see here we have this bootstrap folder created and inside this bootstrap folder we will have all the bootstrap related files so if I go to this dist folder, in there if I go to this CSS folder, there we have all the bootstrap CSS files. Okay. And we also have this JS folder here. And in there we have all the bootstrap related JavaScript files. Now we want to use this CSS file for our Angular project. Basically, we want to use bootstrap.min.cs. So this file. So let me go ahead and let me open this file here. And this is the path for that file. It is in node modules folder. Inside that we have this bootstrap folder. In there we have this dist folder. Inside the dist folder we have CSS folder. And in there we have bootstrap.min.css. So we want to use this CSS file. Now in order to use this CSS file, there are two ways. The first way is we can go to angular.json file. So let me close this node modules folder here. And let's open angular.json file. And in there, inside the styles array, we can specify the path of that file. So before the style.css, we need to specify the path of bootstrap.min.css. Okay, so it is in node modules folder. In there, we have bootstrap folder. In there, we have dist folder and then we have css folder and in the css folder we have bootstrap.min.css file okay so you need to specify the path where this bootstrap.min.css file is present and make sure that you type that path correctly because if there is any misspelling in that case the bootstrap classes will not work so this is one way of doing that another way of doing it is you can copy this path you can go to style.css file and there you can add another import statement. So you can say at import and then you can specify the path of 
that CSS file. Okay, so basically from this source folder, we want to move one folder up. For that, we are using this dot dot and then slash. And then you can specify the file path like this. And this should also work. So any one of these two approaches should work. Once you have installed Bootstrap, you can either import it in your style.css file like this, or what you can do is you can specify the path of that file in the angular.json inside this styles array. So I'm going to use this approach here. Let's go ahead and let's comment this line here. I will keep it for your reference. And let's now go ahead and let's see if we are able to use the Bootstrap classes in our Angular project or not. So let me close this file and let's also close this angular.json file. Let's go to this app folder and there let's open app component.html. And after this app header, let's write some HTML and on that HTML, let's try to use bootstrap classes. So for that, what I will do is I will go to browser and there I will open bootstrap documentation. Okay. Let's go to docs. So here we are in the documentation page. Here you can see how you can start using Bootstrap in your application. Now here we want to get some example code so that I can show you that the Bootstrap is working in our Angular application. So in the left hand side, you can see the scroll bar here. Let's scroll down and maybe let's go to buttons here. So I'll show you some examples using Bootstrap buttons. Okay, so let's say we want to use this button in our application. So this one is basically this button. So let's copy this button element from here. Let's go to VS code. And in there, after this app header, I will paste that button element. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to our Angular application. And there you see, we have the button, but the CSS style is not applied. And that's because once you have installed Bootstrap, you need to rebuild your Angular application. For that, let's go to command prompt where our Angular CLI is running. Let me go ahead and let me stop the process here. Let's clear the console. And then let's go ahead and let's run this Angular application again by running this ng serve command. So this ng serve command, it will again recompile our Angular project. It will generate some bundles and it will inject it in the index.html file. And it will start our Angular application on a live development server. So the Angular project has been recompiled and now it is again running on this URL. So let's go back to the browser. And now you will notice that that button is styled. Okay, if I go back and if I remove this bootstrap class from there, in that case, it will become a normal button element. So if I save the changes, if I go back, you see that style is gone now. But if we get back that bootstrap style, and if you save the changes again, now that style should be back. So Bootstrap is working as expected. If you want, you can go ahead and you can start using Bootstrap in your Angular application. Here, you can find the documentation for the Bootstrap and how to use each of the components which Bootstrap provides. But in my case, in this project, I'm not going to use Bootstrap. So let me remove this button element. And what I will do is, I'll go ahead and I will uninstall Bootstrap from this Angular project. But if you want to use Bootstrap in your Angular project, you can keep it installed and you can use Bootstrap classes in your project. So here, let me go ahead and let me clear the terminal here. And then I'm going to uninstall Bootstrap. So I can say npm uninstall. And the package which I want to uninstall here is Bootstrap. If I press enter, it should now uninstall Bootstrap from this Angular project. All right, so if I go to node modules folder again, in there, now we should not have bootstrap folder. Okay, you see, we don't have any bootstrap folder anymore. All right, so in this lecture, we learned how we can install bootstrap for our Angular project and how we can use it. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.